actually owned by our merchants. NBC's parent company is General Electric, which makes the propulsion systems and U.S. aircraft sold to Israel. So when reporters and analysts and guest experts at NBC find excuses to justify Israel's attack on Gaza, the U.S. NATO attack on Libya, they don't mention that their salaries are being paid for by companies that make a mint providing the very weapons that are being used. Meanwhile, NBC doesn't make a cent from exposing the terrible toll these weapons have taken on the people of the Middle East. But this is how it works. And this relationship is, is so, so intertwined that it's called a military-industrial media complex now. Um, by the end of the 1991 Gulf War, retired colonels, generals, admirals had become mainstays on TV studio networks uh, during wartime, giving, quote, objective appraisals of what was going on during the war. Uh, that's when we get language such as collateral damage, which means civilian casualties, uh, which uh, were rarely talked about and even more rarely seen on the media. Uh, so what was the result? Uh, in the Gulf War, the news coverage of that war, and that was like a turning point, the first Gulf War, um, the, the U.S. media was sufficiently laudatory to the war makers during that war that the former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State, Holden Caulfield, remarked, if I were the government, I'd be paying the press for the kind of coverage it gives right now. <laughs> and the media insider who covered the 99 Gulf, 1991 Gulf War for the New York Times later wrote, quote, the notion that the press was used in the war is incorrect. The press wanted to be used. It saw itself as part of the war effort. And this is the kind of press we have now in the Middle East, a press that is part of the war effort. The corporate media are in on the killing. They use the vast communications fleet to bombard the population here with a fiction and confuse and disarm them politically. And by finding ways to justify aggression, they pave the way for more aggression. So this is essentially the, 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 the message I wanted to make. I wanted to give the statistics of it. This is what we're up against. But we do have a people's media. Thank you, Sue Harris. Thank you, editors of Workers' World. We have our own media. We have YouTube. Uh, there, there are many alternative medias right now. It changes. Al Jazeera used to be one of those medias that we considered ones that we could watch. But, but now it's, it's, uh, it's on the, the side of the imperialists. It's owned by the, the Emir of Qatar, who, who is uh, siding up against uh, Libya and, and Syria. Uh, but the, the, the most important thing to do, that we can do, is to educate ourselves and our class as to the nature of the capitalist state, the way the capitalist state works. Its interests are, the, are totally and, and diametrically opposed to ours and the need to include solidarity with the oppressed abroad in our own struggles here at home. <laughs>